It's kind of like the Wizard of Oz. It's like da da da, and then she lands in Oz, and they open the door! Hey everybody, welcome back to my world where no matter how old you get, you never need to grow up. And today, I'm super excited because the first of my, I was gonna say rainbow high, my LOL OMG surprise movie magic dolls has arrived. This is Starlet. Now, these dolls are available now on Amazon. I will put links below. They will be affiliate links. If you use those links, I will get some money so I can buy more dolls. And uh, my husband is upstairs. He has strict instructions that if the Amazon truck comes, he needs to bring the boxes to me immediately because the other folks are out for delivery. I'm so excited. So this is Starlet, and there are um, some other, other girls, other people, other girls, other ladies, other women, other female presenting people um, in, in, in the line. So there's Miss Direct, and who's she? She's Galaxy, what is she? Oh, Gamma Babe, Gamma Babe. Gamma Babe and Spirit Queen. Now, uh, Elvira from the Doll Circle just did a Spirit Queen unboxing. And I have to say, Elvira herself looks phenomenal <laughs> in the video. So you really have to check that out. I'll link it down below. Um, Elvira and I are trying to think of some way that somehow together we can do the big giant, um, I have my 3D giant movie magic play set, the $135 thing. Like, you know, but we don't live anywhere near each other and all that stuff. So it's like, oh, how could we do that? I don't know. We haven't figured it out yet. Also, I forgot to turn off the overhead lights. This video might be totally overlit, but whatever will manage. So you're like, can't you get up and turn off the light? Mm, yeah, no. Okay. So first, let me tell you how much they are. I meant to do that. I really did. I did. I did. I did. And there's just like, there's so much going on. Um, just so much going on. So uh, if you live in New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania area, um, let's see, about a week ago, $36.99. So these are kind of along the lines of the um, the music dolls. They're a little bit more expensive, but they come with like more stuff and they're very cool. But yeah, we got hit by the remnants of Ida. You know what? I think just getting hit by Ida might have been better. I mean, I don't even know. <laughs> remnants, my hiney. Um, we just, we got like more rain in an hour than we've ever had before. Like no one remembers it ever doing this. And like, like eight inches fell in like an hour. Like it was like just so out of control and so deadly. And it, we're, we're well over 30 people have died from this storm and they're still finding people. And the, the thing was that pe most of the people were in their cars because the water came out of nowhere and just trapped people in their cars, swept cars away. We are very lucky because my husband, Sweet Willie, did get hit by a flood in his car. A little pond just completely just and came across this road that normally doesn't even flood. I mean, that was the thing, like none of these areas usually flood, but this just like happened and, um, and, and he's, thank God, he's okay. We have to replace the car. That's okay. Um, you know, we have car insurance and, 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 and we'll make it work, but, uh, it's just been, it's just been, um, it's just been, so it's nice to be able to see something so colorful and she's already my favorite just based on her art because happy colors. Okay. So, um, it says, OMG, we sisters present a double feature. There are 25 surprises, two full outfits. And as you can see from the back, it's just like two completely different looks. Um, I am going to totally mess up the opening because I can't even open a regular OMG doll. And these are special boxes. So it says to open here, but I think this is taped. Is this taped? No. So there's a little thing right here. Okay, so parents, parents, aunts, uncles, grandparents, people who buy dolls and toys for kids and themselves. Um, 
I did not see these on store shelves yet, but they should be there. As I said, they are available on Amazon. I think with the LOL and the whole like MGA, like Rainbow High LOL. And so I think that they were able to get all of their dolls into the country. And so I don't think we're going to see a shortage. But because we're going to see a shortage of each other of other toys, people might buy these instead. So if you're eyeing this up and you're thinking, oh, maybe Christmas, Hanukkah, birthday, whatever, maybe grab them and just shove them in the closet because I don't know what's going to happen. Will they probably go on sale later? Yeah. Will they be here later? I don't. I don't know. Everything is just so, just so, and my hair is so blonde from being in the sun. It's like I'm tan. My hair is blonde. I'm just very confused. I don't know how to do my makeup. I'm going to try to go next week. Um, my, uh, my hair person, my lovely stylist just opened her own shop and I know I've been doing my own hair very proudly, but I want to support Jamie and I also don't know how to fix what happened here. So I'm just gonna, okay. So this opens up on the side. Oh, 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 okay, now what? Now what happens? There's instructions. Oh, <laughs> there's instructions for those of us who need such things. Okay, let's check out the instructions, shall we? Let's look at them together. Remove the outer sleeve, lift the flap. Oh, there's flaps. Tuck tabs into side to stabilize. Uh oh. Find number four on the side panel and gently. Uh oh. Connect movie scenes and slide. Oh, it's going to make a little movie. Movie. And then, of course, it is, Melissa. Pull out the doll compartment, which looks like a VHS tape. Oh my gosh. Okay. Mm hmm. Remove the outer sleeve. I am removing the outer sleeve. How do I get it all the way off? Oh, now it's taped. Right here, it's taped. Okay. I really don't want to damage the box. Why did you tape it? Arrgh. Okay. Outer sleeve removed in one piece. Yay! Okay. I didn't screw that up. Okay. So now we have this, and we still have the back. Oh. Okay, I need my froggy stuff to come over and do this for me. Or Elvira. Scene two, that was scene one. Scene two, lift and fold to reveal the backdrop. Lift. Now, there are numbers, oh, wait, but there's tape. This video is gonna be poorly lit and it's gonna be a disaster. Okay, I'm just gonna kinda so there's tape. So grown-ups, if you're helping somebody with this, do all the tape for them so that they don't rip their box because you know what's going to happen if they rip their box. They're going to do what I'll do if I rip my box. <laughs> okay, I'm on scene number two. Lift the flap and fold back to reveal the... Okay, so this is the flap right here, right? This is a flap. Why does this not... It... <laughs> Isn't this a flap? <sighs> Lift flap. <laughs> it's the first video of the day too. Lift flap and fold up to reveal the backdrop. Wait, I need a sip of my tea that has collagen peptides or some crap in it. Mm-hmm. Lift the flap. Okay, so I see that this lifts, but it needs to come out, and I think it needs to come out over here. But it doesn't. Does it come out over here? Lift the <laughs> Does it come out over here? Is this taped? What's going on? Um. Jeez oh, Louise. I should have watched somebody else's video. All right, like this is the side that so on the picture okay wait oh I'm sorry, I'm sorry. on the picture it looks like so the name of the doll should be facing this way right okay and then I'm supposed to say it with me lift 
The flag. <laughs> I think it comes out over here. Is there more tape? No. What? Is there tape? Is this taped? Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's a little pushy thing. Am I supposed to push this? Oh, I think there's a perforation. I've got those like little morning crusty things on my lip. Okay, I think there's a perforation in here. There's a perforation. It doesn't show that though. Okay. But I don't, this is where the doll is though. I'm not supposed to open that yet. I'm supposed to. They're like, if you say it one more time, I'm leaving your video. Why can a grown woman not figure this out? Okay, I don't think that's the right side. To reveal the backdrop. This is the backdrop. This is the backdrop right here. Wait, maybe it comes out on this side. Wait. Oh my God. They gave me instructions and I can't do it. Move out your sleeve. <sighs> Lift flap and fold up to reveal the backdrop. But this is the backdrop. Where's the number two? Who does number two work for? Okay, so this was number one. This is number two right here. Okay, there's a number two right here. Okay. Is this the flap? I think this is the flap. I found the flap. Okay, the flap is nowhere where I thought it was gonna be, okay? And there's a number two on the side of the box. And if I had taken a moment to even really look this over before I started filming, I could have saved you a lot of the fact that my neck and my face are not the same color. I need a fan. I am roasting in here today. Oh, Where's the Turn on the air conditioner. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, all right. Lift the flap. Ooh. Oh, cool, to reveal the backdrop. Now there's some tension here. Um, and I don't want to rip anything. Um, number three, tuck the tabs into the so Oh, okay, so it folds. All right, it folds. You're like, how do you assemble furniture? Like this, honey. Okay, so then there's like little, um, like insert here things over here. And so we're gonna take, we're gonna, we're gonna stick those down the back. Okay, parents, adults who are helping children, just go walk away and have a cup of coffee or tea and your kid will have this assembled in minutes. You, on the other hand, will be like me, wondering why your neck is a different color than your face. It's because I'm tan and I don't have foundation that goes with it. Um, and what the heck is going on? Oh, Kitty has come to visit us because I have an open window. That's why there's so much light in here. I usually close the shade, but it's a gorgeous day and I wanted fresh air and then I forgot to turn off the lights overhead. So I am just completely washed out. And I don't care. And you're like, wait, did you say you have an open window and you just turn on the air conditioner? Tuck the tabs into the side to stabilize the movie theater. I have stabilized the movie theater. Okay, theater, depending on where you come from. Okay, number four, find number four on the side panel. Gently tear open, pull out box and get the 3D glass. There's 3D glasses. Number four is right here. This is the one we almost opened by accident. Number four, gently, gently, these things must be done delicately, gently, gently, it's ripping. I used to have such a hissy fit when I used to try to open the tissue box and I would mess up the perforation. Okay, gently, no OCD in me, um, gently on the panel, gently tear open, pull out the box. <laughs> pull out the box. <laughs> gently, wait, is this perforated down here? Pull out the box. Am I doing this on the right side? This is number four, isn't it? Maybe this isn't number four. Where's number four? Wait. 
This is number six. This is the doll. This is number four. Pull out the box. Just go watch my froggy stuff. Oh, okay, this 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 comes down. Okay. There's a little bit more perforation to this than I thought there was. Okay. Pull out the box. <gasps> I did it! To reveal the 3D glasses. Okay. So in here. What's in here? These are the, there's a bunch of stuff. These are like the 3D glasses, but then in here are all the accessories and stuff. Okay. I need to flip this back open because it, it undid itself. I think if you're gonna keep this as a movie set, just an FYI, adults and collectors, you might need to employ some tape to keep it going. Um, connect the movie scenes and slide through the cinematic viewer. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Okay, so this is like a little trunk and it's got all our Hoozy Watsits in it, which it doesn't say, right? It doesn't say that all this is in there. It's just telling me to connect the movie scenes, which are these right here. So, but also in here, oh, look, her head, her headband's reversible. Okay. That's kind of a cute idea. I'm going to a tea party and uh, it's a ladies tea party that my friends decided they wanted to do like a ladies tea party thing. Apparently you're supposed to bring your own teapot. And so my friend Marsha and I, the one I go to the pool with, we're like, I have like an electric tea kettle that just boils water. Can I just like bring it to like bring your own teapot and decorate it? And I'm like, we're like, so should we just like throw some flowers into our electric tea kettles? <laughs> I mean, really, you way overestimated us. Okay, this is really cool because this box has all kinds of like movie stuff on the back and then on the inside, it's got her posters and it looks like a trunk, um, you know, and in the old days of movie theaters, like the really old days, like the beginning days of movie theaters, like movie reels were huge and they would be like on two and three reels of film and then you had the like being a movie projector person was like a real job because you had to like have the skill to get the movies threaded into the machine and not set them on fire because they would burn if the light was on them for too long and it was like a whole thing so these are our surprises we're going to look at those in a little bit we're supposed to connect the movie scenes and slide through the cinematic viewer. The cinematic viewer is this thing right here. So we're supposed to connect these. Let's make sure we've got them right side up. I can't see what they are. How do I know what they are? Okay, um, I'm gonna connect them. I'm assuming I'm doing this right. So they just snap together. Okay, and then we are supposed to slide them through the cinematic viewer. I slid them through the cinematic viewer. <laughs> Did I do it wrong? Wait, wait, wait. What was number five? Connect the movie scenes and slide them through the cinematic viewer. Oh, wait, what? Ooh, I don't know if something's supposed to be happening right now. I really don't know what that is. I can't see anything. Is there light that I'm unaware of? Okay, we'll keep going, we'll keep going. Pull the doll out of the dang compartment, finally. That is step number six, which is over here. By the way, I love this whole thing that's got this like early 80s VHS tape box. Like if you're, if you grew up in the 80s, this box looks so familiar to you. Oh my gosh. This is like, we were a TDK family, honestly, but I think this was maybe, mm, Maxell, maybe? Somebody help me out remembering what, what brand had the rainbow on it. My husband will remember. Okay, here we go. Here we go, the doll is coming out. <gasps> oh my gosh, okay. I love this. Do these all, I mean, are they all in VHS boxes? <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So, 
it says art. So it's in like um, this is like a 3D kind of thing. Look at this. <gasps> I can feel my VHS, VHS tapes in my hand. Fantasy adventure. Be kind. Please rewind. You know, they used to charge us 50 cents at our video store if you didn't rewind the videotape. You're like, what now? Yes, you had to rewind. They sold, <laughs> they actually sold things. Like, did anyone ever have the one? We didn't have them because we were like, not gonna spend money on that, but like, there was a, a video, a VHS tape rewinder that looked like a car. It looked like a Corvette, I think, or maybe an IROC, I don't know. And it was a separate device. And you're like, well, didn't the machine rewind the tapes? Yes, but there was this, this, <sighs> crusty bits. I think it's the collagen powder is like getting on my lips and causing crustiness. Um, uh, th th it was like this thing like, oh, you'll wear out the motor if you rewind your videotapes. I'm like, I think it was made to do that. But anyway, there's tape here. So, so people used to like buy rewinders. And if, cause if you brought your videotape back to the, cause then like if somebody wanted to rent it right away, then they would have to rewind it on their machine because the video place didn't rewind it or they noticed that you didn't rewind it and then they charged you 50 cents and like you got branded and they put like a big rewind symbol and they branded it into your chest. Not really. That's Yellowstone. Anyway, this is really cool. Warning, heat or cold will damage tape. Three day rental. Mmm. Three day rentals was a big thing. A big thing. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Okay, mm. I love this packaging. And you could, I'm sure if you like kind of cut this part off, you could display her in this. Um, I think I think the idea is that you're gonna display her more in the movie theater itself and kind of slide this back into the theater to stabilize it. Um, but also it makes a great way for you to store the um the stuff so here's the doll let me just pull her plastic out with all of her stuff and then this is oh my gosh she's a starlet all right she's got to have all of the clothes and her own designer she needs the girls from rainbow high to come by um or the boys okay and i just want to point something out that i didn't point out before because i was so um i'm so just, um, so it's got Madam Director, I'm ready for my close up. If you have never seen a movie called Sunset Boulevard, you really need to try to rent it. And look, it's little LOL surprise dolls are in the theater. Look at that. It's so cool. Um, but Sunset Boulevard is a classic and it's amazing. And then the other thing that's really cool as I knock the thing is it's like the back is also a backdrop playset. So if you take this, and you stick this back in here. This was where all our our gigaws, as my mom would call the accessories, were. So you, you stick that back in there. And you could stick it back in there with the accessories. So now that makes this side more stable. And then we're going to take her box. Her really cool box, which again can be storage, can be display. But if you stick this back in here, like so. Oh, I didn't fold the flaps in. I love this so much. I cannot wait to get my other dolls. I'm just like really stressing out about opening the big one because I did the the boom box live and see that makes this more stable. I did the boom box live and it took an hour and 40 minutes. I think that video is like an hour and 40, 45 minutes and I did it as a live stream because I had no idea how bad that was gonna be. I thought about doing that again, but I just don't think I have the energy. Okay, so let's look at all of the stuff that she comes with. So she comes with a stand, a stand bottom here which is in plastic for some reason that I feel is unnecessary. I don't think we needed all this plastic. Now I love, 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 love um, MGA's commitment to making packaging that is like totally sustainable um, or reusable. It's not totally sustainable really. Um, for some reason they felt that we needed to know these things like neck piece and body armor, like how to put this stuff on. Now, it's possible that we did. Maybe they knew I was gonna be open it. We're getting um, extra waist pieces in two different sizes and actually three, no, it's actually two different sizes because two of them are the same size, I believe, I think. Um, 
gonna stick this in. Um, these made it to Canada, so my friend Next Gen, who I love you, girl, she um, she's also um, unboxing these on her channel, and uh, she unboxed, she already did her unboxing of the big giant set. Um, another person who's far more brave than I am. Uh, this was in with the 3D glasses. These, I believe, are the 3D glasses. Okay. Oh, I love that the 3D glasses have cat frames. Like cat eye frames. Oh, oh, okay. These are made for children. All right, wait. What happens if I look at the movie scenes with my 3D glasses on? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. What are these? Am I supposed to open these up? Like, how does this work? What is going on? Help. I don't know what to do with that. Someone explain it to me. Woo! Three glasses. Yeah, babe. Okay. Ah. Oh, I'm just getting a Doctor Who flashback. Okay. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Oh, no, I got tape stuck to her hair. No, go over here. Be somewhere else. If you value your life. Oh, did I turn off the ringer? No, I didn't. Mm, no one has tried to contact me. Ooh. Um, this is because the pool is closed. Well, it's open on the week. We get two more weekends. Here is her purse. Okay, so this side, you've got the clapboard, which I always wanted and Caden wouldn't let me get. I thought it'd be so funny if we did that. And he's like, no, it wouldn't. He was probably right. But look at this side. Look at this side with the rainbow. Ah, love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, like I'm probably going to display her ultimately in the rainbowy outfit just because Mama Dragons, LGBT, LOLville. It's like Hollywood. What? The LOLville reporter. What is wrong, Kitty? And there she is, you know? And starlets can have different looks. And it's like, I'm ready for my close up. Yeah, so check out Sunset Boulevard. That is an excellent movie. And it's a movie about the ending of like the silent movie era. And it's about this woman, um, Nora Desmond, who was a silent film star. And um, and then of course, you know, she doesn't have her heyday, like her heyday is over because they did the talkies. And then um, she's a little, she's, 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 a, she's a, a tragic character. The musical Sunset Boulevard has some of the best songs. And there's this song, I'm trying to get the, why is there, usually there isn't this much plastic involved in an OMG doll, I'm just saying. I know this is a complicated situation, but you also get a brush. Um, oh, what is that, what the heck is the name of this song? It's just kind of about, um, you know, she thinks she's making a comeback and it's just like really emotional, but like in reality, she's not. And it's because it's all in her head. It's very sad. But that's where the line, I'm ready for my close up. And it's, I'm ready for my close up, Mr. DeMille. And then it's like, she's just got all this like pancake makeup on. And it's very, it's like, you know, it's not like, what happened to baby Jane is creepy. Um, Sunset Boulevard is just emotional and beautiful and wonderfully acted. And then the musical, I've never seen the musical, but I've listened to the musical. Okay, we're going to open this one first. And I am an old Hollywood freak. Like I love to read books about that era, um, like the golden age of Hollywood, that whole, this outfit, come on. How cool is this? Cannot wait to get her in that. Um, you know, that time period when we went from silent films to talkies and it, what's really interesting about that time period is that you are getting a history lesson on the history of Hollywood here. Um, that first of all, people went to Hollywood. The, the whole Hollywood was there just because it was cheap um, and the weather was good and they needed good light. So they needed it to be sunny all the time. <gasps> oh, it's a little bit crushed. Her, her, her skirt's a little bit crushed, but I think we can deal with it. Um, oh, that's so cute. Um, and a lot of people who were originally actors, because there was this whole, like actors originally could not be buried in consecrated ground, like in religious cemeteries and stuff. Even go dating back to the times of Shakespeare, like actors were considered, I don't know. Um, 
And but the people who went into motion pictures originally were carnival people. So they came out of carnivals and vaudeville, but a lot of carnivals. And um, so just a really unusual group of people came together in the early days of motion pictures. And there's these two books called Hollywood Babylon 1 and 2. I will try to remember to link them down below if you're interested in this. Um, they cover that sort of early days of Hollywood. And, you know, it's funny. We think how about how like corrupt and messed up it is now. And it's funny that it still is. But whoa, those early days was like basically like that criminals were making movies. I mean, it was OK. Criminals are still making movies. Oh, all right. Wait, wait, look at this. Isn't that cute? Now, you can keep these bags, guys. Um, I got yelled at. I used to throw them away. Um, now, I have to be honest with you, they're just in a bin because I never put the stuff back in them. This little box here is going to have a bunch of little pieces of stuff in it, so be careful. I'm imagining that there's little earrings and stuff in here. Uh, so, oh, 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 look at her little belt. Oh, love it. Okay. And then she's got, oh, oh, there are the earrings. She's got two pairs of glasses. She's got her, ooh, she's got her 3D glasses. And then she's got these cool glasses. Mm -hmm. And then her earrings are like comic booky, which is a little strange, but okay, I'll go with it. Um, all right, let's put it over there. And then let's take a look at the shoes. There's her shoe box. The shoes. I'm so excited. How long is this video? I'm like, oh my God, am I recording? Um, ooh, this is a really good choice because these will go with both. I love it. Look at them. Look at the bows. Like, I kind of want these, except I could never walk on them. Okay. Did I get everything? Everything out? Because you have to be careful. Sometimes there's little stuff in there. All right. Let me set this to the side. Okay. And now we're going to take a look at her, and then we're going to dress her in her first outfit. I will do that off camera. Because I have this very strange accent today, and I'm not sure what it is. I don't know who I've been talking to. I pick up people's accents when I talk to them. And um, I'm like a huge mimic. So, all right, I'm just trying to get her out of here so I can show her to you before I put her clothes on. All right, okay, her hair is here. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Where is the Amazon truck? It's probably, it's probably gonna, it says out for delivery. It's probably gonna get here at like midnight or something. And they're gonna like leave it out in the pouring rain. And I'm gonna be devastated because, you know, first world problems. Man, the house got wet in the rain. Other people lost their entire houses, Melissa. Well, mm. they did though. It's really, really sad. We donated already a ton of, um, ooh, her hair needs a little zhuzhing, but I'm loving this. Yeah, we already donated a, a ton of, um, like toys, because um, there's there's people in shelters because their houses were destroyed. And right now it's like, well, where do they go? Um, and uh, so my husband dropped off stuff at the different um, flood shelters. And I just can't even believe this. It's like Sandy, like, it's like, wasn't it like the 10th? No, it's the ninth anniversary of Sandy, I think. Yeah, 20th anniversary of 9-11, ninth anniversary of Sandy. Yay. Okay. Um, okay. Here we go. Oh, that's right. It was Katrina. 16th anniversary of Katrina when the same day they got hit. I'm just praying if we could, I think Sandy hit made landfall on the 29th. If we can just, no, that was my wedding day. Maybe the 28th. I don't know. Somewhere in there. Okay. So this is her hair. I love this do. I love this do very much. Um, she's got the graphic eyeliner, which I now know that's what it's called. And that is the style right now. Um, I like how they do these little triangle lashes on the dolls. Very, very cute. Let me put on my glasses because I want to see if I'm seeing correctly on her lips. Oh, that's like a shine on her lips. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. She's got like highlighter on her nose and on her lips. And then she's got like a little beauty mark. And then she's got, come on camera. And then she's got this like dark, like black liner. Like it's, she's very, very 
like comic booky graphicy, which is really really cool. Um, I'm digging this, and I like like you know with the dots, and so there's like this whole there's this whole comic book feel to her, um, which is interesting because that's not what I thought of when I heard Starlet. But then maybe Starlet, like maybe she's got like a comic book about um, you know being a superhero or something I don't know um and then her outfit that she comes in is really cute I'm digging this that is a very cute outfit um and then she's got these really cute little red socks on I love it I love it I love it I love it love it all right and I'm loving the rainbow hair okay so I am going to get her dressed in her first outfit and we are going to take a look and sorry that took me so long to get her out of the packaging but dang does a lot of instructions but the good news is when my other dolls come any minute now, when I film the videos, I'm gonna be like, bing, 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 bing. Right, yeah, like that's gonna happen. Okay guys, we'll be right back. Oh my gosh, I love her. Now that I've looked at the details more. <gasps> are you ready? Okay, so first outfit. Ah! So she is just so comic book adorable. And there's a few other details that I did not mention. Uh, because I didn't see them until I started to dress her. Um, and I just want to point them out. To, well, I'll point them out to you in a second. So this is the first outfit. And of course, you know, like, you're going to mix and match or not. You know, kids are certainly going to do that. Um, and that's what's just so fun about fashion dolls in general is that and then when you have these movie magic dolls, there's just, they're all different themes and you can kind of mash them up and just kind of create your own stories and make your own movie and like make a movie where like all four of these characters somehow come together in a movie. You know, it's like the Expendables, but LOLOMG style. Um, it would just be really, really cool. So this outfit is different. Like I don't, I don't necessarily get it in terms of like a comic book look so it's sort of like a like a country girl skirt I love the skirt I love the cut of the skirt because it is just so flattering to her body style I mean oh my gosh she is rocking that right there and then the shirt is like a little bit midriff bearing I'm having trouble getting the buttons to line up and stay lined up with the knot in the bow and it's bugging me also the collar is just it's just all bunching up but it's it's a cute outfit it's a very cute outfit she's got these really pretty blue nails mmm pretty blue nails <laughs> I promise you I didn't plan that um, and here it is from the back I mean this is just so just so well styled like i would love this i love that like the lacing and then the shoes they're great now i've got them on with the red socks still on her i probably should have taken the red socks off because it would have looked a little bit better and then she's got these like total right she's got the total cartoon comic book sunglasses and the headband now i want to take off the, the glasses which i actually like for a change right and um i just want to show you the earrings so this is like when you're waiting for that person to text you back but i love and you know i really did not in the beginning as you can tell as you're watching this review you're like she doesn't get that there's like a comic book essence to this and then you know so we've got the the comic book we've got the sketch like she's like all sketched which i think is cool but then look on this one eye we've got the dots and on the other eye we don't and i just think that's actually really cool because you know, if she were drawn in order to give dimension and show light source in a comic book, she would be drawn a little bit differently. Her eyes would not like she wouldn't have the highlight on the same uh, same place. So I really, really like this. I did have to take off the garments, the undergarments that she was wearing. So when it says two outfits, I really feel like it comes with three outfits because you could mix and match these two pieces with these other outfits as well um and i just i oh whew, she's 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 one i wish i had two of because i almost want to 
I would change this up a little bit. I would probably put this back on her, but then with this and the sunglasses and 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 that kind of thing. Um, so I just I think she's really really cool, really really cool. I didn't expect to like this as much, and I like that like from the front right. We've got the black and white, but then you know we've got color. It's kind of like the Wizard of Oz. It's like da da da, and then she lands in Oz, and they open the door. All right, I'm going to change her into this other outfit that I'm really excited about, and I'll be right back. Okay. Am I recording? Yes, I am. Okay, so I was, like, super careful to actually get up and move the little 3D glasses that went with this outfit so that I would not lose them, accidentally throw them away, or knock them off the desk. You'll notice they are not on the doll because I lost them. I mean, I, I have actually spent a significant amount of time trying to find them, and I don't know where they are. And if they're in the trash, they're in the bottom of the trash, because I can't, I can't, I can't. And they're white, and they're really tiny, and then the trash bag. So anyway, hi! So this is her second outfit, where if she were complete, she would have little 3D glasses that I didn't like anyway, but I really thought it would be cute, because then we could do twins and... Whatever. So, I forgot to put the purse on the other one. Um, so, this is the purse. So, of course, on one side, we've got the black and white. And on the other side, we've got the color. The only thing that kind of, like, gets on my nerves a little bit when they give the dolls shoulder bags is that their shoulders, I mean, unless you're going to, like, pin it or glue dot it or something for display purposes, unless they walk around kind of, like, they're constantly hailing a taxi. They really can't keep the shoulder bag on the shoulder, you know? So here she is with the shoulder bag. Um, I really do love this look. I definitely love it more than the black and white one. I bet it would be really cool with the glasses. Probably not. Glasses probably don't matter at all. So I love the pop of red on this bow on her head. Um, and, and the whole graphic, you know, outline of it all. Uh, just love this sweater. It's kind of given me like somewhat 80s vibes, but then it's got the OMG. Okay, it's very 80s. It's like, this is definitely, I'm getting 80s vibes totally from this, which we should be because, you know, 80s was the, the heyday of the VHS tape. Um, I think it was Memorex. I think it was. I forgot to ask my husband. Um, this is really cute. So she really doesn't need the purse because she's got this. And this is like, that's kind of handy. Like instead of a fanny pack, like I might actually wear like a cool belt that had like a little pouch. And they have a name for these. Women used to carry these on their waists all the time. Like everybody did because they didn't have like um, pockets and purses and stuff. And I can't remember what they're called right now. If you know, uh, comment down below. And then, um, I have the socks on her still, um, because I think they go. And I think it was a really, really smart move to do the black and white pants with the rainbow top, not just because of the mix and match, but because I think if this was all like rainbow stripes, it just would have been way too much rainbow. Not that you can ever have too much rainbow, but you know, I mean, maybe it's possible to have too much rainbow, but I, I, I love her. I think I'm going to keep her in this look, um, for, uh, displaying her. And then let me show you, we're going to take, we're going to bring our movie theater back out here. And as I said, you know, this is a, this can be, this can be a play set, but it can fold up. Um, the kids can store, kids, adults, whatever, kid adults can store the doll back in here. Like you can put all of her accessories. The only thing that I'm a little bit like, um, is, <laughs> maybe she went looking for her glasses. She's like, oh, I think I see my glasses. Okay, so the only thing that kind of bugs me um, is that the dolls are... <laughs> I've got the waist thing. I've got the big waist thing on, and I should have the small waist thing on. That's somewhere with glasses. Now, here it is. Okay, so the dolls are too tall for the movie theater. So, like... Once you get her on the right waist size thing, she like just 
like just makes it, you know? And I don't know, from a pr display perspective, like I would love to put her up there, but then that would not make sense at all. So I think we've got like all of this wasted space over here for this thing that I still can't get to work. I did find out that there's cute little LOL surprise little scenes in there that are probably cute if you hold them up to the light with 3D glasses, but I don't understand what's going on over here. Someone else will figure it out and it will be awesome. I have to go and I can't remember if Elvira did that in her Spirit Queen video. I have to admit, I was I was playing Mahjong and watching her video at the same time, so. Um, but yeah, I do wish that maybe they were just, the, the scale was a little bit different, but it's a really cool set. And the fact that all of this packaging turns into a play set and then can just be folded up or used and displayed, I mean, you know. So it's $36.99, but you've got essentially three outfits, one pair of shoes, two pairs of glasses if you don't lose one, a movie theater. Oh, and then there's this side too, which can be a backdrop or, you know. And once again, see, she's just, she's like a little too tall for this side to like really work for a photo shoot. So I would have to sit her down. Um, or I could probably put her on a Kaiser stand, which would lower her by about a quarter of an inch. Let's just test that out, shall we? Um, these are the stands that I use for dolls that don't come with stands. They're made for small waisted dolls. I found them when I, when all of my Monster High stands would break. Okay, now I've just knocked everything over. Okay, come on. So, oh goodness. Okay, lean forward. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. All right, this is not, okay, let's just say that was working. Uh, no, still wouldn't work. So, anyway. Um, so I just wish the scale were a little bit better, but I think it's a very, very cool playset. Totally, totally worth the $36.99. Um, I do think this would make a great gift. And um, so if you see these in stores, now remember, these are the movie magic dolls. These are not the music dolls or the dance dance dolls, which your kids might already have. So just be looking for movie magic, okay? And um, I'm trying to decide if I have the guts to try to open the big set today. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I have it in me. I don't think I have it in me. Mm. I think I'm going to na 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 surprise next. Oh, I also have Barbie color reveal. <gasps> so many choices. But anyway, Starlet, it was a pleasure meeting you. I hope you guys all enjoyed meeting Starlet. She is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I lost her little headband. Oops. Oh, mommy. Oh, nobody calls me mommy anymore. My own kid doesn't call me mommy anymore. He calls me mother. And then I think of the Danzig song and I'm like, mother, tell your children not to look mommy. Right? You know? And then it's all bad. There you go. I mean, like, look at how cute she is. Isn't she adorable? She's so cute. I love her. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you again real soon. Bye.